Today we will learn higher order differential equation. The answer of any higher order differential equation will be y is equal to yc plus yb. We will learn how to find yc. Let's consider an example. d square y by dx minus 5 dy by dx plus 6y is equal to 0. First we will convert this equation into auxiliary form in characteristic form lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6. This is a quadratic equation. After solving this, we get lambda minus 3 into lambda by 2. It means lambda is equal to 3, lambda is equal to 2. These two are basically the roots of this equation. Now, how to write yc? yc will be c1e of the power 3x plus c2e of the power 2x. This is the case for real roots but also unique and unique or distinct when they both are different but if there is for example 2 means repeated root how we will write that yc is equal to c1e power 3x plus c2 for this plus c3x for this 2 and the whole multiply by e power 2 2x this is the case for real and repeated root and this is the case for real but distinct or unique roots now we will learn the third form for which we will consider the question d square by y by dx plus 2 dy by dx plus 17 is equal to 0. We will learn through this question the third form or the complex root. We will convert this into an auxiliary form or in plus 17 is equal to 0. Now to find its root we will add plus 1 square plus 17 minus 1 square is equal to 0. This whole enclosed in a formula lambda plus 1 whole square and this will become plus 16 is equal to 0. Lambda plus 1 square 16 on that side will going become minus 16 and when we take root under root on both of them it will become lambda plus 1 is equal to 4 iota. Now, when we will shift 1 over there, it will be minus 1 plus minus 4 iota. The plus minus will be over here after the square root. Now, how this is basically the roots. Minus 1 plus minus 4 iota. This is basically the root of this equation. Now, how we will write this root in a YC? we will write this as if we have a real number in the previous one we use c1 plus ex but in this one we will use e raised to the power minus 1x minus 1x into a cos 4x plus b sine 4x remember if there isn't anything there if there is 0 then here will also be a 0 and this will be written as a cos 4x the imaginary part will be written as a cos 4x plus b sine 4x whereas the real part will be always there so this is the yc for yc so this is what we learn. If we have any real roots or in, which are unique and distinct, we will write yc as this. If we have any real roots but which are repeated, we will write yc like this. And if we have any root which is real plus imaginary or we can say the complex roots, we will write yc like this. Thank you.